Welcome back, viewers. Um, yeah, all of my AP grinding is done. We go on and and equip all the materia that I have currently equipped to everybody because I gotta switch some things around. Now then, just to show what I've got so far, I have two of every materia that needs to be mastered, mastered, except for the summon materias. And that's for a huge reason. Uh, the Knights of the Round Table takes an ungodly amount of time once it hits 4 star to master. In fact, it takes it, it takes well over, uh, I think it's like 200,000 for Knights to master, but more importantly, most everything has been mastered twice, except for, of course, the Summon materials where it will be mastered. Now, let me go on and show you what I do. Go on and put Knights on junction him to HP Absorb, then put the second Knights on and junction him to MP Absorb, where are you, there you are, MP Absorb, uh, let's see, and that is generally what goes on to just one person, then of course put materials that will increase health and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, I've got a lot of HP plus materials mastered just for this situation. Now, for one other person, you're going to want to make sure they have at least a level 2 Phoenix, because this enemy, or because this boss that we're going to be going for can insta-kill, and junction that to a final attack at at least level 2. And that'll cover all of what's going to go on her, except for maybe extra summon materials, because not all my summon materials are mastered twice. And Hades. Go. Range. Go on and give her one more. Uh, let's make sure that I've got all of these. Okay, yeah. Okay, one more HP+. Plus. There we go. And Cloud, uh, go on and just get his health up, and, oh, something big of note, the reason why I keep leaving one slot open at least is because everybody, and this is on every strat you, strategy guide you'll ever see, needs to have Mime or a Master, a master Command Materia. Very fucking important for that to, uh, be there. Very, very fucking important. Now then, uh, let's see. Other than that, there's not really too much left for you to do. You can go on and put some, uh, oh. Why, nope, I forgot to do it. Uh, let's see. You're gonna wanna go on and give Sid W summon while you're at it, because you're gonna need to summon knights twice. Now then, uh, let's see, I do have Slash all mastered, so I've got Flash with that. I need to master Quad Cut, so might as well go on and heal up. Um, something big of note, since these are optional bosses, and most optional bosses are insanely fucking powerful, uh, by the way, come up here, and there you go, you get the W Magic Materia. Uh, let's see, you still have a little ways to go, so I'm gonna go on and put W, w Magic there. Up some, where are you? There you are, W Magic. And go on and just stuff HP Plus there. Yeah, this W Magic I missed in my last episode, so I figured might as well pick it up now before continuing on. And into a random fucking battle, absolutely. Blah, 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 blah. But yes, I've got pretty. Oh, oh, bugger! I did not know you could uh, run into these guys here. Ar Armor Golem, nasty motherfuckers. If you aren't high level, but if you got quadra cut, you can, no pun intended, cut them down really fast. Now then. 
just to show y'all how to get out of this area. I'm gonna go on and backtrack all the way. No, I don't want to go down there. Ugh, excuse me. Oh, right. Right. I mean, while you're in it, you may as well fight these guys, because, well, more experience, the better, but more importantly, uh, even with taking on both the weapons, I don't think knights will get enough to uh, master. And like I said, we're going to want to have two of every materia mastered. So, uh, it's, it's kind of useful to do that. Oh, hey, Neo leveled. Nice. But more importantly, the uh, armors and weapons that I have equipped to them right now is going to be the constant for both the emerald and ruby weapons. So you don't have to worry about switching out the armors or anything like that, because, uh, yeah, it don't really matter. I'm gonna, the, the basic strat for both the emerald and ruby weapon fights is what you want to do is have both the, uh, fuck sake, what's it called? Uh, Uh, have everyone in the back row and have the, uh, what is it? Have everyone in the back row and have the, uh, have everyone trained. Because, uh, especially with Emerald Weapon, there is one attack that he will sometimes pull out after you do a Knights of the Round Table attack. That if no, that if you don't have everybody in the back row and you don't have, come on, come on, get, stop being a dick, Cloud. If you don't have everybody in the back row and if you don't have them tranked, he will do 9,999 damage, no matter what. It's an insta kill. Which is why I say put Phoenix with final attack, because that is going to be extremely fucking useful. Now then, I get back. Damn it. Thank you. God damn. They didn't want me to get over there. But yes. It's uh, actually a fairly simple strat for the both of for both of them, and I'll explain the strat for uh, bugger, what's it called? I'll explain the strat for the fight against Ruby Weapon once I go for it. It's not going to be this episode. This episode is strictly for Knights of the Round Table. In the meantime, I'm going to go on and save because I. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed. There we go. I don't want to lose all of the fucking progress that I have up to this point. Like, if, if, if my video crashes or something, I'm just going to start up at the save point, and when I come back later, I'll show y'all where I picked up the W item. But other than that, it's, uh... I'm not going to lose all of the freaking materials that I just went through the trouble of mastering. Twice. Especially that shield materia. That took for fucking ever to master. It's insane. Come on. Jump. There we go. And up. And up. There we are. And down. Where we can pick this up. Which is just another hero drink. And other uh, items we can pick up as well. Uh, fuck you, Tonberry Master. Literally the only game, as far as I'm concerned, that has a use for the Tonberry Masters, like a use other than getting a summon for the Tonberries, 
uh, would be Final Fantasy X, where you can do that for some serious level grinding, because in that you can actually get some serious fucking levels, if you know how to do things right. In which, when I roll around to doing Final Fantasy X, I will show off doing that, uh, Tonberry grind thing. But other than that, we can just jump the fuck up, and let's get the hell out of here. Climb on up. Ugh, there we go. There we go. But yes, yeah, so, uh, a big reason why I'm keeping the double AP weapons and armor, even though it's, uh, even though you don't need them for this fight if you went ahead and mastered most of the materials twice. It's because I do intentionally, because it's just easier for me to do it this way, leave a few of the materials unmastered, because why go through the trouble of fully mastering everything twice when you can just go through the trouble of mastering most of it once, then take on the weapons and get the other ones mastered the second time? just uh, makes more sense to me doing to do it this way and more battle um, when I come uh, when I get done with the ruby weapons I'm going to have a small post commentary for the scene after Ruby or for the part after ruby weapon just showing off the uh, chocobo race and what happens if you beat the S ranks three times then a uh, 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 post commentary for getting Red 13's ultimate weapon, which currently is the only ultimate weapon I'm missing. And from there, it's just a simple matter of live com or getting back to here off screen and live commentary over the rest of it. Um, most likely, the the uh, extra videos like the no overpower Sephiroth video and all that fun stuff, like mopping up all the enemy skills, that's going to be post-commentary, most likely. Because I uh, just... It, it, it's easier just to post-commentary because, one, the enemy skills video is going to take forever if I'm going to uh, live commentary it, because... Uh, yeah, each one, I'm just gonna start up on the battle, show getting the enemy skill, then poof to the next battle. Literally, that's all I'm gonna do, so it's just gonna be easier for me to post commentary that video. Uh, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just take a look at the list that I have currently, like all the enemy skills that I have currently, I've showed off how to get to, or how to get them, or at least showed off the enemies that you get them from, so I won't be showing them off, but there's a bunch of enemies that I haven't shown off that have the enemy skills, so I'm going to just show those battles. And of course I'm going to hit the Wutai area briefly while I'm still up there and use the Leviathan scale, which I haven't used quite yet. Now then, this is how you get out of here. Very fucking useful. Very, very fucking useful. And back into the high wind. Ugh. <sighs> Welcome. Everyone's waiting for you. Yeah, every time you leave this area, you have to reform your party, so... It's just a simple matter of getting Sid and Yuffie back into my party. Whoa, 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 I almost completely fucking forgot about something. Very fucking important to have this on, and I knew I was leaving a slot open for this. The Underwater Materia. Without this, the fight against Emerald Weapon is almost impossible. Almost. Almost. 
but with it, you've got an infinite amount of time to kill him. So, once we get all the way back up into the high wind, we can hereby just kind of go bugger off and do whatever the hell we please. So, next stop, Emerald Weapon. Not all that far to get to it, so all you need to do is just get to your submarine, wherever the hell that is. Which is right over here. Touchdown! Touchdown! Actually, you know what? I'm gonna need to go to Fort Condor real quick because I need to get some tranks. Very, like I said, very imperative to have tranquilizers because uh, this boss can and will one-shot your ass. Go on and plop everyone in the back because I'm I'm not going to do regular attacks, so it doesn't matter. Uh, something to note whenever you're in the back, unless you've got a long-range weapon, your regular attacks will be... Uh, it, it, it'll be lowered. So basically what you need to do is just use magic. Magic, it does not suffer from uh, lower damage from being in the back row. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking to you. I really fucking don't. Up we go. Because I need to talk to this asshole. Now then, after all of this experience grind or AP grinding, I've got a lot of fucking money, so like I said, what once you get to the final area, money is a inconsequential thing. I mean hell, look. Just for shits and giggles, I'm maxing all the items that I could get. No, 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 no. You stop talking to me, you goddamn motherfucking dick. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I might as well, because I uh, can come in here and just sell some crap. And, uh, by the way, something huge to note. You can only hold up to 200 materia, so... If you've got a bunch of materia and can't hold another master materia, you're gonna have to either throw something away or sell it. I would advise just, uh, well, if you're not doing grinding, I'd say sell them because that's a bunch of money that you could use for something else, and if you don't use the W item glitch to do the, uh, what is it, to get 99 silk greens, then it's just, it, 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 it's more of a use to do, uh, do things this way than, or, uh, I, I have no, I have no fucking clue what I'm talking about right now, viewers, I'm, I'm, I'm lost. So, enough talking, let's park everything, make sure I'm all healed up and saved, uh, let's see, I'll go on and just mega licks. And, uh, type. There we go. Use the. Ah, fucker. Forgot about the, uh, extra sources that I got. There we go. Now that I'm gonna need to use Trank. And. Nope, nope. Ones who have this range by type then customize. So that way I can have the elixirs on top. There we go. There we go. Now, big thing, important, very fucking important, save. Fucking save. Save like now. Do do you 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 do you do it now. You fucking dirt. Anyways, let's go take on the fucking emerald weapon. And the strat for this guy is very simple. Start off, whoever has Knights of the Round Table. W summon it twice, then just mime it over and over again. There you go. You get an auto win. Well, not exactly auto, but... W summon, come on. Knights, okay, there we go. Got it just in time. With Knights, since I've got both MP and HP absorb, 
not only will I be getting full healed on HP, but I will also get full healed on MP because one of its attacks actually will drain MP and you're going to want to have MP just in case it insta-kills you because if you don't have MP, you won't be able to use final attack with Phoenix because you won't have the MP to summon it. But other than that, once you pull knights off, it's just a simple matter of just keep mining over and over again. Uh, highly recommended to put it on, rec on recommended battle instead of active battle. Extremely recommended to do that. But hey, I'm feeling ballsy. I'll do it without recommended. I'm doing it straight up ATV. But yes, this is going to get extremely boring for you viewers, because literally this is the entire strat. Just keep doing this over and over and over again. It takes up about 20 minutes unless you're level 99 with MP, or with Magic Plus. Uh, but other than that, it, yeah, see, I, I just got full healed. <laughs> All the way back at 9,999 and 999 MP. It, yeah. This is the strat. This is always the strat. If you die, this is why you've got knights at at least one master knights materia. Because if you die, you can just immediately W summon it again. Now, most people advise waiting until you get the master summon, that way you can summon knights infinitely, but I don't do that. No. I just wait until I've got one knight's master. And from there, I just move on. Now, uh, while this is going to take an insane amount of time, I'm just going to go on and cut my commentary off here because, uh, let's face it, I'm not going to talk over 20 minutes of boring stuff, so what I'm going to do is cut my commentary, and at the end of this animation right here, I'm going to speed up the video. So, cheers viewers.